you, you, you probably, if you know Ian Blurton, you'd know him from Change of Heart, from Blurtonia, from Come On, and also lately Happy Endings with Huron. Yep. Yeah. Some of you who, who are aware of, of Ian's work will um, know him as a record producer. You produce a lot of records. Mm -hmm. um, is it fair to say that's kind of your bread and butter these days? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, can you make money being a musician? Well, maybe not just being a musician, yeah. yeah. Um, as a, um, and sort of in, from a guitar perspective, uh, being a producer, you've worked with uh, Lowest of the Low, with the Weaker Thans, with Tricky Woo. How do you, do you, do you, are you hard on guitar players? Because you're a guitar player. Um, no, not generally. No. Harder on singers than anything else. Yeah. I know that from experience, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I hired Ian to help me. Uh, well, we, I thought I had finished a record a couple of years back called Blood's Too Rich. And then uh, Shauna at Six Shooters said, I don't know if we're done. I'm like, what do you mean? It's great. And she's like, I don't know if the vocals are really the right thing. And I'm like, she's like, who do you want to get? We'll work. I'm like, okay, well then I'll get Blurton to do it. And he pushed me around. You pushed me around pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so why would you not be the same way with guitar players? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think the vocal is probably generally the most important thing in yeah. a band. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, that and a good beat. And a good beat. Oh, Meat Puppets. Nice. Well, I, I, I just wrote a couple of notes because um, I'm not a professional journalist, so this is more difficult right. for me than it is for you, I promise. I doubt it. No, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Do you like the Meat Puppets? I love the Meat Puppets, Well, yeah. I wondered, Kirkwood was a Les Paul player. Yep. And your tones are similar. Yeah, I love his playing. Yeah. Would it be... And a Marshall full stack at a point right. when no one was doing that. No one was doing a full stack? Yeah. Well, not no one, but, you know, not a lot of people. What were they doing? What do you mean? What were they doing? I mean, just they had a full stack Marshall sound live, that, and he used a Rocktron as a... He oh, yeah. split it. And uh, it was pretty interesting guitar sound. When you sound. say to split it, you mean like the, the... He had the he had the Marshall amp, and then he had a direct signal with the Rocktron. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the console front of house would be getting a microphone on the front of the, on the and cabinet, a DI. and then just a DI, yep. which was fuzzed out. It's totally fuzzed completely out. Completely yeah. dirty. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. As a producer, again, as as a record producer, um, technology's changed. Mm -hmm. We have the ability, and and you can use it for better or for worse. Uh, do do you think that? the access to technology has made guitar players or musicians in general lazy. Do you think it's like, how do you, what, well, what kind of so. like, I don't think so. Like, I think sometimes drummers are, are can, they give it more because they know that uh, it's, a, it's more forgiving. You could edit out bad parts. And I think drummers, some of them give it like way better. So they, you think they play better because they know I'm going to take some chances and be an artist and be a musician exactly. here. And if I screw it up, we'll be able to fix just it. Just cut it out, yeah as opposed to, I need to play it perfectly and soullessly because I need to get it right. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's interesting, you think about records that were made, obviously thousands of records before the technology existed or before people had the patience to cut tape mm -hmm. for days and days, and you hear stories about the Beatles or about Elvis, uh, Elvis Presley recording sessions where they would do 50, 60, 70 passes of a track yeah. just to get it right. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's probably some more to it than that. Um, that probably doesn't happen as much anymore. There's not yeah. much reason for it. Yeah, I mean, I tried doing that with the band and they got really mad at me. And they wanted to go in that direction and by the time they got to the 50th take, they were just like were so mad at me. Because they took it personally or because they were tired? Just they were tired and they couldn't handle it. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Um, do you want to pick your guitar up at all? Does that interest you? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <sighs> What do you want me to do with it? Well, I don't know. I mean... Why don't you play? No, I don't want to play. Why don't you play? Is, no, well, I'm, I'm the interviewer. I get to ask, yeah. to ask you questions. No. no. All right. <laughs>